What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to cross compile Rust from Linux to Windows. I'm using Arch Linux. And of course, in my previous video, I showed you how to set up Rust up as well as mold for faster building. However, of course, at this point, you can only really build for your own Linux system and not Windows. To fix this, if you'd like to build and distribute for Windows from Linux, in the description down below, you'll find the Arch Linux wiki page for Rust. And of course, there's a section specifically for cross compiling. We'll be copying the first command here in order to install the cross compiler, paste it into our terminal, then it'll start downloading and setting up the environment so we can build for Windows. Then the next step is to install a cross compiler for C. For this, you'll be using Ming W. First, we'll be upgrading our system. So sudo pacman syu. And just after this runs, we'll be using sudo pacman s followed by Ming W hyphen W64 hyphen GCC in order to install the Ming W compiler. This is a rather large install taking up around 1.2 gigs, but at least once you've done it, you can build and compile on Linux for Windows. Now to add this as a target, we'll use Rustup target add followed by x86 underscore 64 or i686, depending on what you're building for. Most likely it's this first one, hyphen PC hyphen Windows hyphen GNU as such. And upon hitting enter, it'll set it up. Now we'll need to tell Rust and Cargo where our Ming W is installed so it can use it. For this, we'll be using nvim or nano, whatever you want to use, tilde slash dot cargo slash config dot toml. And in this configuration file, if it's not already created at the very end, we'll be adding in a new section, which you'll find further down on the same Rust wiki page, which appears as such. So for this, I'll be replacing all instances of Arch with x86 underscore 64 as such all over the file. Now that we've set this up properly, we can save it and close it. Finally, we can head back into our IDE of choice. I've set up the example environment here, which I showed you in my previous video, and we'll be building for Windows here. As you can see, inside of target debug, we have Rust test built for Linux. In order to build it for Windows, we'll be using cargo release target, followed by inside of quotes, x86 underscore 64 PC Windows GNU and hit enter. This will build the executable for Windows. And if we look inside of target, you should see that we have x86 64 Windows GNU here. And inside of it, followed by release, we have rust test.exe. If we were to run this on Windows, we should simply see the output as we do here, which is simply hello world. That's it. Now, if you'd like to test it and you have wine installed, you can simply run cargo test target x86 64 PC Windows GNU. And assuming you have wine installed, it'll run and test it. Unfortunately, I don't have wine installed just yet, but on your system, assuming you do, you should see a response here. But anyways, you now know how to cross compile Rust binaries from Linux to Windows. The installation steps should be very similar if you're on a different system. But of course, I'm here on Arch Linux. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.